Hello, hello, welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and today is Monday Make. So I'm continuing with my Christmas bits and pieces from the Christmas ch tag challenge that was put into the group. And today's freebie sheet is this Christmas ticker tape. We have to cut it out the right way. So you've got two blue, two green, two sepia brown and two blue. And the wording is different on each strip. Now I just printed this onto copier paper. But obviously if you were to print it onto a label sheet, then this would, strictly speaking, be like a, a washi tape. So I've got that one, which is a new one for you. And I'm going to play with that. And I've printed out... These three sheets, again, because I've been using them in various things and I've run out. Also, what I have done is I have got a template of a oversized jigsaw piece. We did do jigsaw pieces once before. And, you know, I was thinking the other day that tags don't have to be tag shaped. So I've cut two card pieces of this large jigsaw. I've covered it in vintage book page. This one actually says Christmas holidays. And I think I'm going to decorate. I'm sorry, I'm still full of cold. Um, I'm going to decorate these two up and possibly a standard shape tag as well. If you're wanting a jigsaw piece, um, I just Googled large jigsaw piece free printable found it came up i believe um i printed four to a page of the one that i found and i just cut it out and i used that sorry um as a template for cutting those out okay so let's get on so i need to finish up with the inking on these jigsaw pieces first of all so I've been seeing lots of um, photos coming through for the tag challenge. People are obviously having some fun with these papers. Glad you're enjoying them. It's all good. Um, obviously, as I said before, absolutely no obligation to get involved in the challenge. You can use the papers for whatever you would like to use them for. Um, and I'm just, as I say, finishing off the last of these. And then I'm going to be concentrating on my family Christmas. I've still got um, three cakes to ice. Um, that's all, I think. Three cakes to ice and decorate. Um, apart from that, all the cooking, or the pre-cooking, is done. It's just going to be... Actually, that's not working very well. Do you know what might be easier if I get my brush? Um, so yeah, three um, three cakes to ice and decorate. And that's the pre-cooking done. And then just the last of the Christmas food. See, I've bent that now. Um, to purchase. I have pre-purchased quite a lot in uh, the freezer so it's all good to go as they say okay now what i thought with these was some of my christmasy bits might be nice to use if i have loved these tickets of andrea's by the way andrea artimates look that's all i've got left um been using them up so I've got two swaps to finish up that need to go in the post. So I'm going to be busy working on those this afternoon. And then that's the end of my swap obligation for this year. I need to do my happiness and crafting design team project for December. And I have chosen to be very non-Christmas non, non -Christmas on that, which you'll see. 
So I think we're going to cut this in half, roughly in half. Uh, no, let's tear it. I'm going to tear it in half, get a nice little jagged edge on there. Oops. Okay. And just ink up the... I'm only going to ink up the tear line, not all of it. And then I'm going to use some of this new ticker tape. And I'm going to um, run some sentiment down it as well. Now, because they're both red, I'm going to go for the red tape. And I think I'm going to tear that as well, actually, to give me um, a shape. Now, I don't want the Happy Holidays or the Merry Christmas. I think I'm going to go for... Happy holidays. I'm going to tear that just into the red, making sure that I hold my roller nice and firm because we don't want it moving as it usually does. And then just inside the red, the other side, because I don't really want any of that white showing. Okay. like so okay so let's just get rid of the end okay so working with my jigsaw piece first of all i think oh make sure we get it up the right way as it's got writing on that will give me a bit of a problem won't it so i'm gonna tear off about try and get it straight about there that's going to give me a happy holiday there i'm thinking she needs to be trimmed down and then she can go on there so let's trim her down doesn't really go to the bottom of the picture so I can take some off of the bottom as well made that a lot smaller so we can pop her up there and put our happy holidays I just want to make sure it's not on her face and then I'm going to try mm, she's a bit too Sorry, I'm thinking. I go very quiet when I'm thinking, don't I? <laughs> right, do you know what I'm going to do? Because I know I definitely want this. I'm going to put this piece on first. And then I'm going to work away from it and see how that pans out for me. So, a bit of glue. Let's make sure that's just inside the curves of my jigsaw like so there you go and then we can get her on there oh I'm sorry it's definitely one it's very rude of me like so but it does mean that I'm because that's going to go across her face, so I'm probably going to have to change that to there. But that's fine; it doesn't matter, does it? It's only paper and ink. So we take that piece off, and then that, once we get it around the right way, can go across her there. 
So let's just ink up the edge of this. Yeah, I mean, I was playing, those of you that saw the video, I was playing with the pink Christmas tag kit, I think it's called, from My, My Port Prince. And of course, all those little tag pieces, not many of them are tag shape. And it got me thinking to, do you know what? Yes, let's not do a tag shape for a change. So there you go. Or a postal tag, you know, the ones that we traditionally think of. And this is where we've ended up. So let's have a little bit of cheesecloth, I think, on there. Just a little bit, like so. We'll just clump that on there. And then I'm going to look for one of those little tiny bows. Just make sure I sort of bring that in like so. Let's see if I can find a lid on that as you know what's going to happen. Here we go, little tiny bow. We're still using these red bows, they've been very popular. But then I suppose it's that time of year. We put a bow on anything we can this time of year, don't we? Well, I definitely do. Lots of daily challenges going on at the moment. Um, those of you in the Facebook group or on my new Instagram page will have seen that I've started dipping into them I can't commit to doing every day but I think I've done day one three and five of um, Barbara at 49 Dragonfield uh, Dragonflies not fields and Louise Heinzel's I'm not even going to try and say it Defemerimera um, so I've had a little play with that and obviously I've also been working on the various swaps that need to go out for December. See that Tracy Fox has got one going as well December daily. Might try and jump in and do a page, you know, a day or two of that one as well. There's a little bit of white there I didn't quite get. I just need to get that little bit of white out. There we go. Let me just get some glue on that bow. And there's that one. And then obviously I need to um, make it into a tag. And I think that top... What do you call these? I don't even know what you call these. I mean, I love a jigsaw. I do jigsaws a lot. But... We'll definitely be doing one over Christmas, but I don't know what they're called. Tab, pointy tab, don't know. But we'll put it in that bit there. Can we find a grommet to go in there? No, those ones are the ones that don't work for some weird reason. I don't actually have. They're the ones that are too big. It's a nightmare. Me and Gromis. I'm forever buying the wrong ones. If anyone's got a foolproof system for buying Gromits, I'd love to hear it. Because I'm forever buying ones that are too big or too hard or whatever, whatever. Right, let's pop that in there like so. Oops. Try not to flick it back out. There we go, We've got a lovely little tag there. So that's tag number one that looks like a jigsaw piece. Now I'm going to try and do this one. Um, 
without the reading. So what can we do this one? What have we got? Oh, we've got this lovely green wallpaper. So maybe a bit of that green wallpaper and then we just use the green words. What words would we like from the green one? I think let it snow, classic let it snow. So I'll tear this one again. I'm sorry if you can hear Boo snoring. She's laid down next to me and she is snoring for England. She's a very tired doggy today. So we want to put this bit, but we don't want to cover up the Christmas holidays. And I quite like that idea of the puppet show as well. So we're going to tear this just about there. Get a little bit more ink around the edge. Quite sure yet which bits are going to be covered up. So I'm going to pop that there and then my let it snow can come all the way down to there. And then we'll have a look at our paper. And see what we've got left or what we've got on our desk that we can make a centerpiece for as it were that's a postman so who is probably gonna have a little bit of a go in a minute please be warned no it's almost like ribbon isn't it this um, Sticker tape type stuff. Um, what have we got? Do you know what? I might go for the S because it's on the sheet with that green that we've used and it is greeny. So I think what I'm going to do is because I want to try and tear it. Tear it from the sheet. too big isn't it could have done with that being um, a lot smaller so here we go let's trim away at it until it's the size we want it to be let's try that side as well. I don't mind that a bit of the S is missing. So if the S goes on the base and then the green wallpaper goes on the top. Can we get let it snow across the bottom?
Do you know what? I think we want that smaller. What about if we just put it across the bottom there? Yes, there you go. And then this one, I think I'm going to try and dangle on the angle, as it were. So, let's put a little bit of ink around this one. So that was my grand... Well, it is my granddaughter's birthday um, this week. A lot of you may remember that from the 52 weeks of journal making. And there was a bit of a family party for her on Saturday because her birthday being midweek means that everybody is at work, she's at nursery and it was decided that she's of an age that she doesn't really know if her birthday's on a Monday or a Tuesday or if we're cheating and doing it a few days early. So that is what we did. We cheated and did it on Saturday. So good time was had by all, as they say. There was cake and toys and presents and games and lots of fun. Lots of fun. That's what my weekend was about. I don't know what you guys all got up to. Sometimes I think it's a little bit of an issue when you have birthdays, you know, so close to Christmas. Having said that, her mum has got her birthday next week, even closer. So there's a little tiny bit of glue needed on that corner where my vintage paper's lifting up. Here we go. Now I feel like I want something else green now. And I'm not 100% sure what I've got. And what have I got? I'm sure there was more green. Oh yeah, there was this this one, wasn't there? Because um, I think we'll put the grommet that side this time. Uh, Sorry, I'm very indecisive today, aren't I? Very, very indecisive. Or shall we just break with it and put a red bow on? Even though it's all green. I think I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... that bow on the top there under a piece of this green so or on top on top of the green the piece of green underneath it straight bit of a party going on so just about there a little bit of ink now if I'd have had my other Christmas stuff out I've packed Christmas away now I um, I'm sure I could have found a little wooden Christmas something or other. So let's just put this down. Like so. Let's get this second little bow cut out. Uh, 
and then we get our bow on and then I think I've just got time to do one big one I'm obviously not putting numbers on the jigsaw pieces mainly because the numbers are just too big but I could have obviously used smaller numbers or whatever but I think as they are also the jigsaw shape rather than the actual tag shape I'm going to use my numbers just for tag shapes and then you see that one is just going to pop on there that's it glue all over my hands I'm impossible aren't I absolutely impossible so we've got a little bow Christmas holidays let it snow we've got our S and our green I think that's lovely um, I just wish I had some green um, do, 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 what's the word I'm looking for green um, cheesecloth cheesecloth there's the word which I don't have and that's the wrong green right okay leave it alone Claire don't mess with it so let's pop a hole up here there stick a grommet in go for silver I think this time because we did that coppery colour didn't we in the other one so stick the silver one in there tag one or jigsaw tag one jigsaw tag two and now let's do a tag tag so cut our corners off first of all going to go for do you know what I love this one so what if we cheat what if we apply this one to the card I know it's super cheating but do you know what I think cheating should be allowed. And then we'll add to it. We won't obviously leave it like that. So we'll get some cheesecloth. We'll get the other half of that fragile label. Let's see how that works. Now that is awesome. So if I now cut that, that sounds also now like the bin men are coming down the road, which means Boo will definitely go off alarming. So we'll try and get this done quickly before she does. So we don't want that. Let's get a little bit of cheesecloth. Because I'm trying to do it quickly, all I'm going to do is decorate up this one and then I'll stick it to the card in a minute when I've turned the camera off 
and I'll put the pictures in the Facebook group because you do not want to have to listen to her making a lot of noise at the rubbishman because she really, really does not like the rubbishman for some reason. And we're going to tear off, let it snow about there. But before we stick that down, I want to find where did the other half of that fragile ticket go? Oh look, I'm trying to do it all quick because of Madam laying next to me and I can't find it. Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh, that's really annoying. So, I'm going to have to cheat and just use the fragile one. You see, I'm going frantically quick. I know what's going to happen any minute now so while I'm sticking this I will say as always thank you so much for joining me I hope you found some inspiration in what you see me do today and that you have a super duper crafting day so just quickly grab the end of this all gone very quiet <laughs> that's because I think they've obviously stopped about half out the road but she's gonna not be happy when they get closer in a minute okay beautiful so I'm gonna ink up all around the edge I'm gonna put some book page or something behind it and then I'll probably stitch it to there and put a hole in some ribbon so as always thank you so much happy crafting I'll see you very soon bye for now